Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another week of Sabbath School Nuggets. Now, before we begin, I want to say thank you to Seth for his great insights into last week's lesson, Light from the Sanctuary. Now, this week's lesson is entitled, The Foundation of God's Government. Our memory text for this week comes from that well-known Bible verse, Revelation 12, 17. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. To understand the sanctuary, a person has to first understand this one thing. God is determined to save us. But save us from what? Well, he wants to save us from sin and death. Now, in Romans chapter 7, Paul makes this really great point. He would not have known what sin was if the law of God had not defined for him what that sin actually was. He discovered in God's law that things like jealousy and envy meant that he didn't love his neighbor as himself. And that failure to love was sin. Now, this is where God's law comes into play because the law is there to remind us that God is, in fact, trying to save us. And Satan, he knows this, which is why he not only hates the law, but he hates the Sabbath. Because in the Sabbath, we find a creator God who loves his people so much that he has laws, like the Ten Commandments, that are designed to bless and protect us. Satan knows what the sanctuary and the law have in common. And what they have in common is that they both remind us that God is in the business of saving people. And Satan, he hates that. Now we come to Sunday's lesson, and we are reminded of the Day of Atonement. And make no mistake, it was a day of judgment. But let me ask, was this a day to be afraid of or a day to rejoice in? Well, that depends. Depends on what, you might ask? Well, it depends on whether or not Jesus carried your sin or if you still carried your own sin. You see, if Jesus was your sin bearer, then on the Day of Atonement, the blood of the Lamb that covered your sin was taken into the most holy place. In there was the Ark of the Covenant, the mercy seat, and inside the mercy seat was the law of God. And on that day, the high priest would take the blood that was shed for your sin, and he sprinkled that saving blood on the mercy seat indicating that Jesus had forgiven and removed your sin and had paid in full the price that sin demands when we break God's law. Think of it this way. No law, no sin. No sin, no death. The fact that we die means that we sin, and the fact that we sin means there is a law to sin against. And this is what our pioneers discovered, that the law of Christ was not done away with on the cross. It's still in the sanctuary under the mercy seat. And what they learned is that the law is still a tool that God uses to teach us what sin is, and the law also reminds us what it cost Jesus to save us from sin. And as such, the law will always be there to point us to Jesus for salvation. Well, that was our nugget for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.